Hello and welcome to the ProStructure Connect Edition onboarding video guard session. In the last video we have seen how to complete a general arrangement and 2D fabrication drawings for steel elements. And in this session we will create some basic concrete elements with ProStructure Connect Edition. So let's begin. So let's begin with a new file. For this example we can call it ps underscore concrete underscore training and then let's save the file. As the application opens we can use some construction lines to guide us through this process. I'll start off by placing a simple block. I started with a offset from the origin 7500 by 16,000 millimeters away from the origin. At this position now I want to add some smart lines and top right corner press the letter T, extend it in the Y direction and place that line 16,667 millimeters. Now a vertical we want to press F on the keyboard to rotate that AccuDraw 7485 millimeters place a line and duplicate that same process on the other side of that line. Now with the construction done let's delete those excessive module elements and fit view so that we can get a close look to our modeling. Let's start off with pad footing. Pad footing you've got some options to place dimensions on your pad footing. You can also select the option where you want to place that focus point. So let's go for center and you've got different options on how to place it. Place it at the bottom of the construction lines and I've got my pad footing placed. Now let's right click and start off with the continuous footing. Click the same option, the expansion, continuous footing and as the application opens up the dialog box you'll see that you've got similar options in adding dimensions to it and also shifting the focus point for our placement. So with dimensions in select the correct focal point for adding your continuous footing and select the correct option on the way you want to place it. So we're going to place it with a, the middle option, center point of that, extend it to the other end side and right click. There my continuous footing has been placed. Com confirming the dimensions is the same. Let's go with the column. Place a column. Similarly, we've got a circular or rectangular option to place it with fixed dimensions. And in this example, we'll stick to center orientation and then place it on a line. Use a line. Use those construction lines as a guide. So simply just select those construction lines and the columns are placed. Right click and OK to confirm the placement. Very simple process to follow. The next step is we want to place a beam on the center point of those columns. Similarly, go through the dimensions options, we will be able to select the placement, left placement with two lines, select the center point, drag it across, press enter and confirm that input. So now we've got our beam placed, but you'll note that it's slightly off centered, not a problem. We will be able to move these concrete elements into the correct place by selecting the move option. Let's focus onto that point, click on that one, press the letter T, enter to lock that access and now I can shift my cursor and confirm it on the center point of the column. Now my column and my beam has a center alignment with each other. The next one is the wall or panel. So let's use the same option will appear but now we need to enter a specific height so let's measure the height distance between the column of the beam and the pad footing so press F for front view rotates the axis of the accu draw and then move downwards to the bottom of the column select it confirm the distance you may close it if you want to make sure that your offset is center aligned in this example and the thickness is okay so let's place it with 
two a star point two points so rotate your AccuDraw T press enter extend it to the other side of the model and confirm the input there I've got my wall place click OK and we have our wall placed and our dimensions is captured you can see it in all the other views also confirming that it's center in line with the beam and the columns next step we will need to place a slab for this we'll do some AccuDraw functions again so shift my views around focus on the top view click the set slab option don't be too concerned about the dimension at this stage just make sure that it's top in line press O for origin and now I can shift my starting point away from the origin 850 millimeters by 850 start left click move it up enter the fixed distance that you want to go upwards and then sideways and we've got a block confirm the input and my slab has been placed that's how simple it is to place a slab into our modeling so now we've got the basics covered so maybe we need to make some changes in in our modeling you know add some holes or anything openings to it so simply just shift my views a little bit so that i can place it now i've got a block that i want to place as an opening into my slab maybe at the bottom add an additional one and i'll use these as guides rotate my front view to a left view fit view zoom in ever so slightly to get it in place place a few blocks just as a guide I'm just randomly placing some some blocks just to show you that it doesn't necessarily have to be in the same plane Pro concrete will be able to modify them modify the option click on the opening select the slab select the opening and my opening is creating select the slab select the element that will represent the opening and it's created but I can also do multiple ones so for instance the wall select the wall could keep control in and select those extra elements select inside the modeling area and I've got holes in my right click and click OK and that's how simple it is to do any modeling with Pro Concrete. simply just delete those construction lines and my modeling is complete Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this video insightful. So on your screen you'll find some other ways how to get more information about Pro Structure Connect Edition. And in our next video I will show you how to add reinforcement to these basic concrete elements in Pro Structure.